In this video, we are going to review the last several videos that we looked at on electrophilic substitution reactions and predicting reaction products by doing a couple of examples of starting from benzene and showing how to synthesize a variety of benzene derivatives that have multiple substituents attached to them to highlight some of the reactions that we have talked about over the course of this unit. So let's go ahead and look at these synthesis reactions and go through some strategies that will allow you to systematically determine how to go about making a particular organic molecule. So we have our example problem here that I have sketched out where we are tasked with synthesizing the molecule that I've highlighted in pink as the major organic product using benzene as our starting material for the series of reactions. For each reaction we propose, we are required to indicate all of the major organic products that we predict by electronic effects. And it says that we can assume that there are no steric effects. So how do we go about synthesizing this as our major organic product? We have to think about how to create each of the functional groups on the ring that we need, and also how to get the correct regioselectivity. In other words, how to get this product, the para product, as the preferred product of the reaction. So the way I like to break this down is I like to think about how would I create each of the individual groups that we have on the molecule, and then what order would we need to introduce those in? So for introducing the acyl group, the reaction I know of that would allow me to do that in one step is friedel crafts acylation, where I would react an aromatic ring, benzene for example, with the friedel crafts acylation reaction mixture of aluminum chloride and our acyl halide. In this case here, an acyl halide that has a grand total of two carbons in it. So we could attach that via one reaction, friedel crafts acylation. The amine group is a bit more challenging because in order to attach an amine group to an aromatic ring, the way that we have learned to do that is to first create a nitro group by reacting with H2SO4 and nitric acid HNO3. That would allow us to take a benzene ring and put a nitro group on it. And then we can reduce the nitro group or we're reacting with H2 and a metal such as nickel. So if we were thinking backwards about this one, we could think backwards one step in retrosynthesis and go, okay, we can go from NH2 backwards one step to NO2. And then one step further backwards, keeping in mind how we would get the NO2 group would be by the nitration reaction. So now that we have outlined, kind of sketched out what we would need to do to install each of these groups individually, we have to think about what order we would carry out those reactions in in order to ultimately create this as our final product. We have multiple possibilities because of a grand total of three reactions we need to do. Friedel Crafts acylation, nitration, and reduction of that nitro group. So we have to carry this out in a way that will allow us to create the intended major organic product. So thinking about our order of steps here and the different permutations, we think about, okay, we can trial and error this a bit. What if we did Friedel Crafts acylation first? If we have a carbonyl group directly attached to the aromatic ring, that carbonyl group is a meta director. And so a group that we attached after that would end up at the meta position. So that tells me that we don't want to do acylation first because the acyl group is a meta director. And we are trying to make a para product as our major product. So we don't want to put the acyl group on first. So thinking about other possibilities, other possible orders in which to go with this reaction, if we do the nitration reaction first, the nitro group, the NO2 group that would result from that is also a meta director. And so we don't want to do nitration followed by acylation because that would put the acyl group at the meta position as well. But if we do nitration followed by reduction of that nitro group, to NH2, then our NH2 group, due to the fact that NH2 has a lone pair of electrons directly attached to the ring, is an ortho para director. And so we could then come in with acylation. And so in the grand scheme of things, sketching out what we wanna do here, first, nitration, second, reduce the nitro group to give an NH2 group, which is an ortho para director, and then third, doing the acylation, we'll place the acyl group at the ortho and the para positions and, we are 
aiming to create that para product as the major organic product. Um, it's going to be a mixture of the ortho and the para products, um, but that's okay. We just want to indicate at each step all of the major products, and we can highlight which one is actually our desired product at each step. So working backwards from here, based on the outline that we just made, we said that our last step, we wanted to be Friedel Crafts Acylation. So I plug in the acyl group that I wish to attach with the chlorine, since it has to be an acyl halide reactant. Aluminum chloride is the catalyst. And so we step back one step from there and ask what would we use as our starting material for that. So if we have aniline, NH2 attached to the ring, plus our acyl halide, that's going to result in this para product. It would also result in, and I'm going to put here since it says to indicate all the products of each step that we do, all the major organic products, we would also create, based on electronic effects, the ortho product. So I'm plugging in the ortho product there as well as another product that we would create. And then stepping back from aniline, we said that we could create aniline back in our outline by reacting nitrobenzene, which has an NO2 there, with hydrogen H2 gas, nickel catalyst. So we do that like so. And then taking one step backwards from there, we can start with benzene and we can do the nitration by reacting sulfuric acid H2SO4 with nitric acid HNO3. So this would give us as our pathway here to our final organic product. And we're showing at each step what all of the major organic products would be there. And we're assuming no steric effects as this particular example problem indicated for us. So the keys to this are thinking systematically and learning to think backwards. And one way to help yourself in doing that is get yourself organized by saying, okay, how do I know that I can create each of the groups that are attached to the aromatic ring? So I did that in red here. And then ask yourself, what is the order in which I need to do those reactions to give the correct regioselectivity to make the ortho para products or to make the meta product, whatever your desire is or need for creating a particular product. So let's try another example. We're going to work this same problem where we're synthesizing a molecule as the major organic product from benzene based on electronic effects. And our target this time is going to be the structure that I have highlighted in pink over here at the right. So we're going to go through the same sort of strategy this time. We ask ourselves, what do we know as a way that we can attach a chlorine atom directly to the aromatic ring? The only way I know to do that is to react with chlorine, Cl2, and iron or iron trichloride as the catalyst. You could put Fe there, FeCl3, it doesn't matter which. I'm just sketching out how I know to go about doing this. And then for the other group, thinking systematically about how to attach that alkyl group, keeping in mind that this is a primary carbon right here that's directly attached to the aromatic ring, you would not be able to do Friedel Crafts alkylation because the alkyl group would rearrange to give a more stable carbocation during the mechanism. And so therefore, what we'd have to do for that is Friedel Crafts acylation, and we would have to reduce via Wolf, Kishner, or Clemenson, the carbonyl group to the alkyl group that we have there. So we have these three reactions laid out as the three reactions that we would need to do in order to get to our major desired product here. We have to think about what order to do those in in order to get to this final product. Now thinking about the fact that this is a meta product we have a bit of a challenge here because when we look at our chlorine that we are going to attach to the aromatic ring, chlorine is an ortho para director. So I'm going to put OP after it to remind myself that that chlorine atom is an ortho para director. Alkyl group that's going to result from the final uh, step down here is an ortho para director. The acylated product is our only meta director. So I'm going to put M next to that. And so that makes me think since we want our final product to have this meta regiochemistry that we need to attach the acyl group first so that that can act as the meta director to guide the resulting or subsequent rather chlorine into the correct position. And so therefore when thinking about what order to do these, I'm going to put acylation first 
And then we need to direct the chlorine to the meta position. So after we put the acyl group on, the acyl group will direct the chlorine to the meta position. And then finally, we do Wolf-Kishner or Clemenson in order to reduce the acyl group to the alkyl group. So let's go ahead and fill those in. Starting up here, we worked out that we were going to do the Wolf-Kishner or the Clemenson last. So I'm going to draw out Working backwards here, if we're doing Wolf-Kishner or Clemenson last, we need to have our chlorine in place, and we need to have this group that it's going to convert into an alkyl group instead with a carbonyl group directly attached to the aromatic ring. That carbonyl group is going to get reduced in this reaction. In this particular example, we could use either the Wolf-Kishner or the Clemenson because neither of those are going to cross react with the chlorine that's attached to the aromatic ring. That is pretty stable and set. So I'm gonna plug in here that we could use KOH and H2NNH2. That would be our Wolf Kishner reagents, or equally good as an alternative, we could instead do our Clemenson reduction reaction, which would consist of zinc with our mercury and HCl here. So that would allow us to convert the structure that we have shown here into our final product. So then we take one more step back and we say, okay, taking one more step back, what could we use as our starting material to in one step get to here? Well, looking back in time, we did our wolf kishner Clemenson. And we said here that we could use chlorine and an aluminum chloride catalyst to attach the chlorine group. And so that's what I'm going to show here. So I'm going to bring in Cl2 and iron or iron trichloride, whichever your favorite is there. And I'm going to start this reaction with my acyl group there. The acyl group is a meta director. And so therefore the only electronics predicted product here is going to be the meta product. So we plug in the chlorine right there. And then continuing our quest, thinking backwards, we go back to the beginning and we said the first thing we want to do is Friedel-Crafts acylation. So we'll take benzene and react it with our Friedel-Crafts acylation reagent, which is going to be our chlorine directly bonded to our carbonyl group, have our alkyl group attached there, and then aluminum chloride AlCl3 is going to give that electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So the series of reactions that we need to do is what I'm highlighting here. And in each case, we have predicted all of the major organic products based on electronic effects, because here at our first step, we were just attaching the initial group on, then our acyl group is a meta director. So the only electronics predicted product of that reaction is this meta product. And then finally, we reduced that carbonyl group down to make the alkyl group of our final product. So that will get us to our final structure here. So for purposes of the quiz and an upcoming synthesis project, these reactions are definitely valuable to become really familiar with because you will need to be proficient at looking at a target molecule such as what we have here and predicting your way backwards, thinking backwards to how can I start from a simple reactant such as benzene and add on functional groups as I desire or modify those functional groups to create a targeted organic product. We've learned a lot of different reactions in this chapter, and now will be your chance to apply them to create targeted molecules. This is a really valuable tool, both from a critical thinking perspective to the perspective of getting proficient at predicting reaction products for MCAT and PCAT and all of those sorts of things. And also from a practical standpoint, if you ever pursue any organic synthesis of sorts, aromatic molecules are really commonly used. And as a result, these reactions are very prevalent.